Hi everyone, what is going on? My name is Jamie Palmer and welcome to another episode with the Binary Destroyer 7.0. Now this week's going to be a little different in my YouTube videos because I want to talk a lot about money management and trade management, okay? The key information or the key stuff you need to learn to become a successful trader. Now I know everyone out there watches my videos and they go, you know what, I want a 100% win ratio, you know, I want a strategy that's going to deliver me consistent wins every single single day for the rest of my life. Now, the one thing about Forex trading, okay, just notice I've got some uh, trades on at the minute uh, on gold. I've took a sell on gold. Uh, and I want to just, it, it's in, it's good with this. Okay, let me just, uh, hold on. I'm trying to get rid of this. And I'm going to use a trailing stop with this trade. Okay. Um, when it decides it's going to load up. Here we go. So I'm going to go for take profit. Oh, I'm just going to set it. Um, no, da, 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 take profit. We're going to use a trading stop actually. Trading the stop loss. And I'm going to lock it in at. We'll go with 50 pips, sure. Yeah, let's go with 50 pips, 100 pips. Let's go for 100 pips, okay? There we go. So 15 quid, and we are good. Right, okay. Uh, I'm actually going to, in fact, I might actually close this. I'm going to put a take profit on this as well, a thousand pips. So I'm either going to, I'm either, let's do a take profit of a thousand pips, okay? And we'll see if it gets hit. So we've got a thousand pip take profit and we've got trading stop at a okay we'll leave it at that there that should be fine uh okay done okay right so yeah i want to talk a lot about trade and money management okay and it's crucial you understand this especially if you're trading forex because the one thing about forex trading is every tr there's, there's never one trade that's the same Okay, it doesn't matter if you're an expert, beginner, you know, you've got years experience, you take a trade and you know what, you could take a trade and some days they could go instantly into profit and hit take profit. Some days they can instantly hit your stop loss. You know, some days you could take trades and they struggle to do anything. They go sideways for a couple of hours and then hit your stop loss or hit your take profit. Never never the two trades are the same they're always different and you need to understand that as forex traders you know you're going to have days that are good you're going to have days that are bad now when i went down to london i've been down to london quite a lot because i work with some brokers obviously we've got partnership brokers i've got a lot of members as well that trade for institutional companies and the one thing i found when i was going down to these you know these big trading floors was a lot of traders down there are very simple traders, okay? They just trade price action, support and resistance, trend lines, um, higher test time frames, everything like that, okay? But the one thing that they're good at is trade and money management. Before they take a trade, they know how much they're risking, they know where their take profit is, they know where their stop loss is, and they know how to manage those trades successfully. And that comes down to understanding trade and money management, okay? It's not necessarily about getting the perfect entry or the perfect holy grail strategy. It's more about maximizing the trades that you're in, okay? You don't simply just go, yeah, I'm going to set a take profit and stop loss and that is it, a walk away. It's about managing. Can I get the most out of each setup? So in this week or in this video as well, we're going to go over how to maximize your returns. Now, uh, one of our traders, Michael Austin, who's also an admin, um, he does this li neat little thing using the Mogwai strategy. Now, he gets the signals sent from uh, the 7.0 to his phone. And when he's out and about working, he gets obviously gets the signal sent to his phone and he takes those trades. But what he will do is he will take two trades. So he will take one trade with a five pip take profit and he will take one trade with no take profit and he will just let that trade go. So you, before I actually started this video, if I actually um, go into my history, you will see, okay, um, 
all most of my trades have hit take profit as you can see here at five pips i also take took a gold which is here at 149 pips which hit my take profit there and i've also got another trade that's open on gold with as you can see here with a trailing stop loss set at 150 pips whatever and a obviously i've also got take profit at a thousand pips so i'm letting that trade run so out of this trade already I've closed in at 149 pips. Remember, this is gold. So, you know, 149 pips is not actually 149 pips because it's gold, okay? It works slightly different. Um, but I've already locked in uh, one trade that's made profit. And I've also got another trade open off the same setup uh, with a, which is also going to close either 144 pips in profit or 1,000 pips in profit. So I'm trying to maximize my setups and as you can see here i basically just took uh, if we actually go over to the charts just simple analysis here where's my little uh i've lost my little charts that i can that i can draw on um where's my actual where's my actual toolbar oh here we go insert shape so you can see here we've got this nice little resistance area here okay you see we've got a touch here a touch here a touch here and we've got a touch here and we've also got a bit of divergence as well from the rsi so that's exactly why i took this trade here i basically just sold it from this resistance line based off the buy and show it giving me a uh, diversion signal and as you can see i've just heard it now that trade has just closed in you see trail trailing stop loss 200 pips so I got 200 pips, I got 149 pips out of one setup. Uh, it became a risk free trade. So that's about maximizing my returns from a setup. Look at this nice little diversion signal at the bottom here. Okay, that's really nice. And also, I noticed gold as well. Look at gold. Nice little Mogwai signal off the five minute charts here. Now, again, maximize those profits from setups and you know what as forex traders you're gonna get your trades right you're gonna get your trades wrong you know and it's about experience you know and knowing what to do on the market you know for instance here you know you can set your stop loss at i don't know a round figure let's say 40 pips okay you can target 40 pips which would have been around here so a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio so 40 pip stop loss 40 pip take profit you can also take another trade as well same principle 40 pip stop loss but using a trailing stop loss then and then you could have got 140 pips so you could have took two trades here one would have hit take profit of 40 pips okay and then one would have hit take profit of, let's say 140 pips okay and that is about maximizing uh, your returns from uh, from your from your charts now the reason why we do this okay is because i want to show you now that you don't need a 80 90 95 percent win ratio to make money in trading okay you can even win or still make profits with as low as 40 to 50 percent win ratio and yes i have said that you can lose more trades in trading and still make money and that does not come down to your perfect entry points it does not come down to you know taking trades every single day it just comes down to money management trade management and trying to maximize your returns okay for instance here okay an easy way to do this is called a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio okay i'm sure you might have heard that from trading uh, or other youtubers saying that but basically what it means is I am risking 1% of my account to make 1% back. So I'm risking 1% to make 1% back. Now that 1% could be, I don't know, let's let's say for instance, 100 pips for 100 pips, meaning I'm risking 100 pips to make 100 pips back, okay? That's a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. Now obviously you've got to factor in spreads, commissions on top of that as well. So it's more like something like 101 pips to make 101 pips back. Now, the important part about this is trying to get this number higher, the reward higher. Okay, so I'm risking 100 pips to make 200 pips. If you can get this higher, it means that your win ratio can become lower. 
meaning you're you can lose more trades than win them and still make money okay so let's say hypothetically we have a one to five risk reward ratio okay now you're not going to always get out of each trade a one to five risk reward ratio meaning you're not always going to make uh, let's say 100 pip stop loss okay for 500 pips okay uh, take profit you're not always going to get that some trades might hit 500 pips some trades won't they might hit 50 pips they might hit 100 pips some trades might not even go into profit and just hit your stop loss okay you can't get around that but the more your reward is bigger than your risk it means that your success ratio your win your win ratio can become down okay so meaning you can win more trade you, you can lose more trades than you can win them and still make profits and again this comes down to money management and trade management and ideally that is what the difference is between a more experienced professional trader let's say a stockbroker down in london compared to an amateur trader trading from home they know how to manage those trades okay and it's important in forex that you understand this concept with binary it's slightly different you know you just take a trade it wins it loses you know you've got real really no outcome you just take a trade and in five or ten or fifteen minutes times it's either going to win or it's going to lose okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to pause the video i'm going to find uh, a few more setups we'll take them live for you uh, and i'll show you how to manage them how to manage those trades and maximize the profits so i'm going to pause the video and i'll be back very soon when we get some more setups hi everyone so i'm still waiting for a setup to happen but i've just basically took another sell off this uh, resistance line on gold um basically just trying to get the most out of this one setup uh looks like we've come back up and bouncing back off this resistance line now obviously this does not meet any of the bd rules yes we've got diversions the 7.0 has given us a diversion signal and we are at a resistance line so yes it is a good setup but obviously it doesn't meet any of the standard bd rules and um, because we're trading in the middle of the zone which i always say to my members is slightly risky trade with caution if you're going to be doing this um obviously this is for uh this is on gold so you know i want to i'm going to watch this trade and try and maximize my return so i'm just going to set just a 100 pip take profit um Obviously, I've got a stop loss set above this resistance here. Here, um, I'm just going to set this at 100. Okay, as we come back down. Okay, I might even say that. I'm going. I'm just going to stick. Uh, I'm just going to stick 200. Because it might, we might actually come all the way back down here again. I want to see if we close above this resistance area here. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to find some more setups. We have some nice setups here. Um, and I was eyeing up. Let me just have a quick look. I was eyeing up as well a setup on AUD USD. That was it. We had a uh, Mogwai signal here, but I'm hoping for a diversion signal to appear on the Aussie US dollar. Um, it seems to be gold is now dropping down, which is good. Gold's now coming down. Hopefully this line, this stays red uh, and we stay below this TCA line. I've locked in 200 pips on this trade anyway, so I might just leave this. Wait for this to go into around 100 pips and then I can start using a trailing stop loss. And then guess what? It becomes a risk-free trade which is good you know like i said that's what you want to be doing in trading is risk less and profit more so if you can get risk free trades uh you know that's even better so what you want to do as soon as the trade goes into profit is to try and bring down that stop loss to break even so the trade becomes risk free meaning the worst that's going to happen is you get stopped out and you lose no money um but we might actually get diversions on i just want to see what's happening on the higher time frame on the aussie us dollar um 
nothing really else is happening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to pause the video and I'll update you very soon on this setup. Hi everyone, I thought I would update you. I'm just going to bring this up like this so you can actually see. Um, I've took a buy on Euro USD. Again, we've got this kind of hidden diversions here inside of the zone. Uh, this is a risky trade because obviously I'm trading against this resistance area at the top. If I just show you here, uh, you can see this resistance area here, which is a risky trade. Uh, but I'm using the stochastics at the bottom. Obviously, the 7.0 has given me a diversion signal. Uh, and I'm hopefully targeting the top of that zone. You see the TCA line here. Okay, I'm uh, anticipating that price is going to come up to the TCA line and then hopefully drop back down. Um, so I'm targeting, like I said, I've set this, or I will be setting right now, two five pips take profit. Okay, just trying to get the take profit there done. And I might do another one here. Uh, in fact, I might do a take profit of... I'm going to go with 30 pips, okay, but I'm going to manage this trade as it goes up. One of these trades is just about to close in take profit, as you can see, 3.1 pips. Here we go, here we go, come on. Big more push. Um, that gold trade, look how far gold is out at the minute. Here we go, here we go, there we go. So... One trade's gone, and I'm just going to have a quick look where the top of this zone is. So it's around 20 pips. So I'm gonna actually going to set this now at, I'm going to go with 12 pips. Let's try and lock in 12 pips with this trade, okay? Uh, and I'm going to use a trading stop. In fact, I am going to use a trading stop. I'm going to close it at, I'm going to close it at one pip. Yeah, let's do one pip. Okay, there we go. So risk-free trade now. This is now a risk-free trade. I'm either going to make one pip out of this trade or I'm going to make a, uh, what was it, 12 pips. Okay, but obviously I've already made my money on this setup because I've took one trade and it's hit take profit five pips. Gold is still annoying me. It's come back up to this resistance area. But I'm not really too concerned on gold at the minute because I'm looking at the higher time frames and we are starting to trend down. You notice we had this nice diversions here at the top of here. We've had a couple of signals here uh, and also it looks like we're chopping about uh, at the minute. And if you actually go down to the more lower time frames, you can see this resistance area here. Our price is chopping down at the minute. It's almost like we're stuck in a kind of range area here you can see that support area here you can see the resistance here so at the minute it's kind of chopping around going up going down so i'm not really too bothered at gold at the minute because it looks like the overall direction at the minute is down uh, at the higher time frames um see again look look we've got on the higher time frames we're chopping around at the top here so worst comes to worst, I'll close this trade off in a loss, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're going to at least get, I might be able to close this at a small profit. I've just noticed as well, um, it has, look, it's just hit 12 profit at uh, 12 pips. So there you go. Nice little quick setup on your USD targeting the top of the zone here. Look, exactly what I said. Nice, nice, nice. I like it when stuff goes to plan. Uh, so at the minute, I've only got one setup on gold. I'm going to update you very soon. I'll pause the video. I'll be back very soon on gold and I'll update you on that. So I'll be back very soon. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's been about an hour now. And as you can see, I'm going to close these three positions off right now. Now, I apologize if you can hear my uh, if you can hear my printer in the background. Um, so what I've basically done, okay, is we actually broke that resistance level here. Okay, you can see that. And basically what we're doing is we ejected straight off the sell zone at the top. You can see we're still dropping down now. And like I said at the beginning of this video is that I can still see from the higher time frames uh, that we are still bearish on this. We can actually see if, clearly now this area of resistance at the top. So we can see we actually broke this resistance area, pulled up even higher, and then reje rejected off this resistance level. Here you can see one touch, two touch, three touch. Now what I actually did was took two more trades at a better price. 
Um, so yeah, as you can see here on gold, you can see these setups here. One, two, three. And basically what I did was I uh, entered at a better time with this setup here and then closed my overall position in a profit. So yes, as you can see, those are my trades for today. And you get a general idea of how to manage the, those trades and maximize uh, each setups as you can. So I'll be going more in depth with this hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoy this video, drop me an email at buyandshow at gmail.com. And thank you for watching.